Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sneaker Updates. This will be Sneaker Updates number 49, almost at 50 now. If you happen to be new here, this has now become a weekly series on the channel. If you're not familiar with the series, essentially we go over a variety of different sneakers, those of which got updates for throughout the week. For example, some of those may potentially include some Nike and Off-White, Yeezys, Jordans, and more. But with that short little intro out of the way, why don't we jump right into the first update. Like usual, we'll be kicking it off with some Nike and Off-White since that's what you guys seem to like the most. So with Nike and Off-White, we only have one update for today. Although, it's one I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be very excited to hear. So we already know that the Off-White Jordan 5 releases this February for $225. It's of course going to be very profitable with an incredible margin, despite the retail being somewhat high. But it turns out there was another colorway of the Off-White Jordan 1 produced as well with a completely different stock keeping unit. Courtesy of Soul Debris, we have a mock-up of what it's supposed to look like. Now let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, whether it's the black pair or this tan pair on the other hand. But with Off-White out of the way now, why don't we transition into Jordans on the topic of Jordan 5. To begin with, one that I'm extremely excited for is the Jordan 1 Bloodline 2.0. If you guys recall, the original Bloodline pair wasn't anything great. It was a black Jordan 1. It had some red accents, wasn't too incredible, and as most of you expected, it did sit, it didn't do too well, but on the other hand, we have these Bloodline 2.0s, which are, on the other hand, completely red with black accents. These will be retailing for $170, and we have a mock-up of what these are supposed to look like, courtesy of House of Heat. These will be dropping July 11th, so this is certainly one that I'm looking forward to, and if you guys are a fan of Chicago Jordan 1s, or even the Spider-Man Jordan 1s, you weren't able to get your hands on those, these are the next best thing. Moving on, we now have an in-hand detailed look at the Court Purple Jordan 1, releasing April 4th for $170. Then we also got on-feet images of the Jordan 1 Game Roll. Oil. These drop May 9th for $170. This is another one I'm definitely looking forward to. Let me know what you guys think though. Additionally, we got an in-hand look at the Jordan 1 Racer Blue, which drops sometime at the end of this month for $175. Now, despite the higher retail, there should still be a small profit to be made with a poor margin when it comes to these, but sizes under nine, so the men's size is seven to eight and a half, should still do pretty well. I would suggest going for these, especially if you have no tax in your location. And honestly, I'm thinking of getting personal solely for the soles on these things. I mean, these look absolutely incredible. Moving on, the Black Cat Jordan 4s will now be releasing January 25th, a little earlier than expected. I would only suggest copying these for personal only, or not purchase these with intentions of reselling them. Now with Jordans out of the way, why don't we move on to some Yeezys. Courtesy of Han Zuying, we have in-hand detailed images of the Yeezy 380 Mist, those of which we discussed in the last updates video. These will be dropping in February for two. $230. <laughs> I mean, guys, February is already stacked. These just add on to the flame. Then from S. Sam, we have an in-hand image of the Yeezy 700 V3 Black. This variant will also be glow in the dark, just like the original pair. More importantly, it'll hold the same retail of $200, which is absolutely incredible for a Yeezy 700. That would normally be $300. But when it comes to these V3s, they're only $200, which is incredible because it leaves plenty of room to profit. One quick update. I wanted to add while I was actually editing the video, the Yeezy 350 V2 Yeshaya will now be dropping in the United States January 25th. Only regarding the China release, they will be dropping January 11th, which is obviously much earlier. Finally, for Yeezys, we now have in-hand images of the Yeezy 350 V2 Desert Sage, which drop in spring for $220. But now with Yeezys out of the way, why don't we just move on to some miscellaneous sneakers. So courtesy of Yankee Kicks, we have on-feet images of the Air Max 1 Chinese New Year Longevity. These are special because they're Asia exclusive, and not only that, but they're limited to under 10,000 pairs. So because of this, there should be easy profit to be made even if demand isn't too incredible. Now last but certainly not least for a lot of you guys, we have a closer look at the Travis Scott SB Dunk Low via Bento Diwa. These drop sometime at the end of winter towards the beginning of spring. So now to go along with these, we also have those Air Max 270s that we discussed in the last video. So it's evident by now that Travis Scott is going to be continuing his collaborations with Nike, which is just absolutely incredible. Whether you want some personal pairs of them 
or simply if you just want to make some easy money guys because the demand on these collaborations is absolutely insane but with that i'm actually going to conclude the video for today so feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy or you perhaps learn a thing or two also subscribe and turn on post notifications just so you stay 100 percent updated when it comes to any of the shoes i mentioned in today's video or for future hyped releases with that i'll see you guys later have a fantastic Rest of your day. Where you should be stopping. You see your shoe like a size 12 weapon. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Get your foot off my foot. Yeah. Now I can't run and I can't walk. You hit me so hard, I don't want to talk. Get your foot off my foot. Ah. Get your foot off my foot. Yeah. Why are you always in my way? Knocking me over every single day. Get your foot off my foot. Ah.